In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up and solve a fluid structure interaction simulation to model the transfer of forces from a fluid to a solid. I'll start by selecting the fluid structure interaction template. I'll then be guided through a series of steps where I'll have options to customize it. I'll import an existing geometry. The geometry includes both the solid and the flow volume. So I'll keep all the default settings and I'll click Next to select my geometry file. The geometry is now visible. It is a manifold with three inlets and an outlet. I'll keep the default settings to solve a steady state fluid flow. In the next step, I'll set up the fluid physics regions where I'll select the bodies forming the fluid region and the material making up that region. In this case, it is air. I'm going to allow for heat transfer to occur through the walls. Next, I'll set up the solid physics region. I will use all unassigned bodies and assign them to the solid region and select structural steel as the material. This completes the template setup. I can see that the template has produced two simulations, a fluid flow and a structural simulation, and a number of tasks. The fluid and structural simulations are solved separately, and fluid force data is transferred from the solved fluid simulation into the structural simulation using the physics coupling interface. This is the advantage of using a template. The framework of a basic fluid structure interaction simulation is automatically created for me. I can still customize the simulation process to meet my needs as I go. I set up the fluid and structural conditions ahead of time to focus on the fluid to structural physics coupling. Fluid conditions have been applied to three inlets, one outlet, and a wall. I'll be able to send force data from this wall to the structural simulation, so I'll see this wall later in the physics coupling interface. I'll solve the fluid and structural simulation separately. I'll first solve the fluid flow. In the fluid results, I'll add a contour to review the pressure on the pipe. Next, I'll solve the structural simulation. The structural simulation will incorporate fluid structure interaction because I'll transfer the fluid force data into this simulation. I've set the supports. These surfaces are fixed in place. I'll transfer fluid force data into this structural simulation with the physics coupling interface. The source region is the fluid simulation that we just solved. The tasks are connected so that fluid data is available to the structural simulation. All of the walls in the fluid simulation are automatically selected, so the wall we looked at earlier is selected here. For the target location, I'll use a predefined selection set to select the surfaces on the inside of the pipe. The data transfer is ready to go. Now I'll solve the structural simulation. During the solution, mapping occurs on the physics coupling interface to transfer the force data from the source location to the target location. Now I'll go through some of the results. The displacement shows where the pipe is bending due to the fluid force. The displacement of the pipe is quite small. And here is the equivalent stress. The bulge is more prominent here. I have now successfully completed a fluid structure interaction simulation. I've solved the fluid simulation and I've solved the structural simulation using the physics coupling interface to transfer the fluid force onto the inside walls of the pipe. This concludes this demonstration of setting up and solving a fluid structure interaction problem using ANSYS Discovery AIM.